wanted to talk about what it means to really love yourself and what it means to take care of yourself the way that a parent would take care of their daughter or their son. I've just been easy on myself for the last couple of weeks and so it got me thinking about how important it is to be your own best friend and to always have your own back and I think that as women a lot of us don't do that. I think that um, society kind of teaches us to be hard on ourselves and to be critical of our bodies and of who we are. Um, and we don't really compliment ourselves ever. And I remember Paige, when you posted that video where we had to say five good things about ourselves, that took me a while to think of five good things. I was just thinking about all the little girls and women across the world who feel the same way and the pressure that's put on us to look a certain way and be a certain way. And I mean, I could talk about this for hours because it's something I'm very passionate about. I hate what the media does to women and to girls. I hate the example we're setting. I think it's disgusting. It's really one of the saddest things about our country. That's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about right now is loving yourself inside and who you are and being good to yourself and not being overly modest. I think so many of us are afraid to say when we're good at something or when we do something well. My goal is to totally 100% love myself the way that I would love my daughter, the way that I love my best friends, to not be hard on myself because I know that I don't always treat myself the way I would treat one of you girls or the way I would treat somebody that I love. I want us to be good to ourselves. I want us to stand up for ourselves. I want us to believe in ourselves. And I want us to do that maybe when the rest of the world seems like they don't. Because you know, I've been thinking a lot about the fact that I'm kind of stuck with myself. I mean, I'm the one person who's always with me and I'm the one person that's always gonna be with me. And I need to really learn to be good to myself and setting standards for myself and eating well and taking care of myself the best way that I can, but also even more than that, emotionally just being supportive of myself. Do you love yourself? Are you good to yourself? Are you your own best friend or are you your own worst enemy? Because if you're watching this and you're thinking, wow, I'm not very good to myself. I don't really like myself. I'm not really proud of myself. Stop for a minute and realize that all you've really got is you. I mean, you might have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or friends or, or good family, but in the end, you've got yourself and you've got to love yourself. Instead of focusing on, on the fact that your, your waist isn't small enough or your hair isn't pretty enough or you're not good enough at something, focus on the things that you are good at and the things that you like about yourself and your appearance. That's my goal and hopefully you guys share that goal with me a little bit. I grew up really not liking who I was. I was terribly made fun of in middle school and I never really felt like I fit in anywhere. And I had this really awkward haircut and so I was picked on. I was different, I wasn't really afraid to be different, but not being afraid to be different is what got me picked on even more. So I grew up with this, this low self-esteem for years and years and ironically being sick kind of forced me to look into myself and and real, made me realize how strong I am and what a good person I am. But it's taken me years and, and I still have days where I hate how I look and I hate who I am and I hate everything. And then I just have to remind myself of, of all the good things and kind of tell myself, hey, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do this anymore. The other thing to remember is don't let people in your life who don't make you feel good about yourself. If, you, if you've got somebody in your life and they make you feel bad about who you are, whether it's physically or, or who you are inside, get rid of them. There are so many good people out there and people like that are not worth your time. 